So, hello everyone. Before I start talking about what is synthetic biology and callous leather, let me first introduce to you my own story. So last year I participated in this synthetic biology competition called iGen, a competition where we need to engineer the gene of microorganisms to make them positively contribute to the human world. Let me explain things a bit. It's as if we have a Lego car, and each of the composing bricks are pieces of DNA. And our job as synthetic biologists was to add to or delete bricks from this car to make it have new functions or perform better. For example, make it have wings and fly. The car in this case may be any species of bacteria, fungi, or even plants. And the Lego bricks that we add to it are DNA or protein extracted from other organisms. So at the beginning, our team had a very hard time coming up with ideas for a great project, a project that is going to have an enormous positive impact on the human world. Then we started chatting, and we noticed one problem that is of great significance, but little effective solution. One problem that is commonly occurring, but rarely noticed. One problem that is of huge significance and can be perfectly solved using synthetic biology. We have an excessive use of leather products. So how is wearing leather bad? We've took a look at the production process of it, and the results were astonishing. More than 1.4 billion cows, sheep, or goats were slaughtered each year to produce leather. If you don't know, that number is approximately the current population of China, which is the most populated country in the world. The production process of leather is extremely cruel and disturbing. Cows are electrocuted in the genital or anal area for the preservation of their skin's quality. Some are even beaten and skinned alive for convenience and freshness. Because of this, many of us sought a new solution by choosing a type of synthetic leather called fall leather. But that does not solve the problem at all. Fall leather is plastic derived, and plastic is infamous for being damaging to the environment. Because of this, many of us sought a new solution by choosing a type of synthetic leather called fall leather. But that does not solve the problem at all. Fall leather is plastic derived, and plastic is infamous for being damaging to the environment. We need a substitute for traditional leather, substitute that is eco-friendly, humane, and still possesses the tensile strength and durability of traditional leather. And one bacteria is the perfect solution for this. It's surprisingly the bacteria that produces this nutritional beverage right here, which is called kombucha or fermented tea. So how can a fermented tea be used to produce leather? There is a way. If we take a look at the uppermost layer of the kombucha, you will find a membrane of bacterial cellulose, a material that is known for being eco-friendly and decomposable. But can that make leather? Obviously not. It's too soft and fragile. So how can we make it stronger and harder? We thought of a material that is known for being strong. It's what Spider-Man uses to pull trains and defeat villains. It's called spider silk. But it is not practical to construct spider farms and use actual spiders to produce spider silk for us. So we saw an alternative solution by using the main component of spider silk, or spider silk protein. We've taken the DNA of spider silk protein and engineered it into the metabolic pathway of this bacteria right here so that it now acts as the spider for us and produces the spider silk. And once we add it to our leather, it now produces a strong and more flexible and durable leather, just like traditional leather. But that's not all we did. We also wanted to dye the leather in an eco-friendly way. So we repeated that same process, this time using indigo chemical dyes. And now we add the bacteria to the leather and it now dyes it for us. We were very ambitious, so we did the same thing again, but this time using yeast and scent molecules, which makes our leather smell good. 
So overall, we brought this project called Neo Leather, which is durable, eco-friendly, produced in a humane way, have the colors produced by synthetic biological ways, and smells good. And can you observe a pattern here? We've had a problem. We found a chemical that can solve that problem. We found the DNA for it and engineered it into a bacteria or yeast. And then it produced that chemical for us. And the problem is solved. That is uh, basically what synthetic biology is. And synthetic biology can do much more than just produce a leather substitute. For example, other teams in past IGEN competitions, like for example, TAS Taipei, they use proteins to cut off the antigens or red blood cells so that we can donate blood to everyone. And this team right here, which used chemicals to solve the problem of detecting and treating fish diseases in a fish tank. If these projects were successful, they will all be world-changing and a huge success to human life. And as science generally progresses and improves, more and more world problems that were impossible to solve before were made possible by means of synthetic biology. And we all should look forward to the bright human future it can bring to every one of us. Thank you.